Most people in America are familiar with the breaking news story that is of human interest because it does not reflect God's glory. What I mean by that in a humble way as a person who is pagan and literally loves God is that people so quickly forget about God that they don't think about the nation that's indivisible under God. Now, I can quote and throw out parts of the Constitution, but that's not my point. My point is that when you as an employee take active active actions that are a violation truthfully of federal law where you are hacking a cell phone or hacking a telephone or hacking a computer and deleting things that belong to someone else or using things that are governed by someone else off that computer you've just proven that you're not mature enough to do your job and here's why a company that means well to try to adjust somebody or monitor somebody is actually not a company that goes well. You see, one thing people are really big on today is the privacy of their telecommunications and their social networks. In life, we have moments of time to decide, is this factually technically my job based on what my company is paying me to do right now on the job? So is your company, motherfucker, and I'm going to be a little rude, actually paying you to participate every few minutes on your cell phone? Is your company actually paying you to take as many breaks as the manager will let you sitting outside your company with your uniform on smoking some e-cigarette in front of all your customers and potential clients? I don't think so. Is it a laziness of you to not walk out the back door to have a private smoke. Most companies have policies about where you need to do that. Most companies have a concern about their professional brand and image. But when it comes to the Wi-Fi and internet that you keep interfering with for other people, most companies don't think immediately about suing you. Some companies may stand behind you and say, you're right, this is an overuse, this is an abuse. No, it's not. Because you can decide which way PR can go, not at all. What you can figure out is that your lie about yourself is that you will never be in need of that. Because if you leave a company on good standing, you can usually go back and borrow Wi-Fi and do other things. And I'm not trying to change the direction of where God wants to go with this talk today. But what I'm saying to you is that bad publicity for a company can ruin your motherfucking life. Look at the Taco Bell show. Look at the Sony problem that the Japanese did when they were doing inappropriate things in women's locker rooms. Look at all the shit that we've learned from that have brought laws to the forefront of protecting human rights. And human rights of your customers are just as important as the human rights and the well-being and the souls of your employees. But here's the deal. If you don't recognize someone else's privacy rights on their technological tools, then you don't deserve having to have any rights on yours ever in this lifetime. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth in as many different ways as we can possibly say it so that your motherfucking employees don't put your entire company into a lawsuit. And while you might be putting yourself into a situation that's a David and Goliath, as a Bible reference that everybody's familiar with, situation where your company's going to attack a little man, what I can tell you is the people that do that are foolish. Because usually those situations blow up in the faces of the employees amongst their family and friends. And usually those situations blows up on the companies so that they don't meet a good end.